So Senator Barrett's comments yesterday in, in yesterday's session about um, the Weymouth compressor amendment, I have some thoughts and I have something that I wrote up and I'll just read it to you. Mm -hmm. um, Senator Barrett said he hopes the amendment is defeated. I say that, and this is starting to quote him, I say that with respect to everyone who has spoken, I tip my hat to them, but they are dead wrong about the implications here. If the clerk of the Senate cannot certify the bill we passed because an element is unconstitutional, then the entire piece of legislation dies. This is an up or down vote on the bill we legislated since 11 a.m. That's what's at stake. The amendment has got to be defeated. And I'm gonna interject with his, the transcript of this with my thoughts. <laughs> this amendment has got to be defeated. If he stopped there, I could see how he could be trying to save the legislation. But he went on and used familiar industry talking points. And when I say industry, I mean gas industry, which is where things just went south here. Um, he said, this is, oh, I said, this is not about Weymouth, but about every compressor station and about, oh no, he said this, I'm getting this all wrong. <laughs> this is what happens when you type stuff up mm. on a phone. He said, this is not just about Weymouth, but about every compressor station and about whether constituents stay warm in the winter. I say, it is about Weymouth um, and the whole already overburdened Four River Basin and actually all of Massachusetts. He said it's a relay station. No, it isn't. It's a compressor meant to reverse the flow of gas from the current north to south flow to south to north for export. He said, this isn't a power plant, a smokestack, or belching fumes into the air. I said, it's not a power plant, correct. It's not burning coal and making smoke, correct. The compressor would conservatively dump 61,000 tons of pollution into the air yearly, and that's per Algonquin's paperwork the gas company. It would be extremely toxic to everyone in the Four River Basin. He said the pressure has to stay even throughout the system. There is no system, none. But there would be a big system of pipelines, liquid natural gas storage, and compressors in 24 Massachusetts towns if this compressor goes in at the Weymouth location. He said over distances, the pressure deteriorates and it gets pumped up to get gas to your constituents' houses. Sorry to inform the Senator, but by Algonquin's numbers, Massachusetts will get maybe, and it changes, 19% of the gas flowing through the proposed compressor. The rest will flow to the Bearhead LNG plant, liquid natural gas plant in Nova Scotia, to be made into liquid natural gas to be shipped to overseas markets. Um, he said, it's absurd what we are proposing to do. No, it's not. <laughs> Have you ever seen a 7,700 horsepower compressor? Have you heard one? Have you smelled one? Has he? I'm saying you now, not you personally, but Senator. Has he given thought to where the gas would be coming from to flow through that compressor? Did it come from Pennsylvania? Do you know what's happening because of fracking in Pennsylvania in the past 10 years? Do you know how bad things are for Marcellus Shell residents and how much worse it, it can get if we pull more gas from their land? I do. I've gone to Pennsylvania and talked to residents of many townships and they're desperately fighting for the health of themselves their families and their land. Mm -hmm. Senator Barrett's comments expose a deep lack of knowledge about the very things he claims to fight. Senator Barrett says, it's nimbyism at its worst. By the way, that is a gas industry buzzword and it's used against people who fight things. My thing is, no, it's not. We don't want it in anyone's backyard. This is out of control. That was his last statement. That got me the most. Um, this is out of control. What? <laughs> Senator Barrett, Barrett has, with one sentence, derided three and a half years of time consuming, money consuming advocacy to fight one of the worst sites ever proposed for a compressor station. Are we out of control? Senator Barrett insults and hurts those of us who fight this project every day of our lives. I took my lunch hour and sat for 82 days in Governor Baker's office to get him to take action on the compressor. Was I? Am I out of control? I don't think so. No site in the United States has ever been proposed that has been so densely populated and is on such a small patch of land. If this compressor were to go in, it would set a precedent that would apply across the United States. Anyone could have a huge compressor or two within 610 feet of their home or business. This is why we fight. What's at stake here is not just Weymouth, it's everyone up and down the line from this composed, proposed compressor project. Almost done. I expect more from Massachusetts 
I expect more from my governor, and I certainly expect more from our senators, especially those senators whose main aim seems to be protecting the environment. I expect better than gas industry talking points coming out of Senator Barrett's mouth. It's disgraceful, and he owes Weymouth and beyond an apology. There may be no way I can really get this through to Senator Barrett other than to say, I hope your town doesn't have to deal with what Weymouth is dealing with. The end. <laughs> and then I'm turning it off.